And that's like social, social D for oh, me. Oh, like, oh, for sure. Like I fucking love mommy's little monster, but I will never talk to anybody about social distortion. I will never advertise that. I like that band. Like it just won't happen. No, no, I, I, this is this EP fine. Yeah. Right. They're pretty much, they're important for basically establishing an entire subgenre of fucking monk yep. that I largely hate. For sure. Yes. Mike Ness is the patron saint of like the Johnny Cash bar punk scene. Yes. Which can fucking die in a great white concert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. like I just, I, I can't, I can't handle, I can't handle uh, people that really like stand for social distortion for sure because we fund we have fundamental differences in what we actually like yeah like not just punk rock yes right right? yeah we we are probably two very different we are very (laughs) different people right it it, it almost borders on bizarro universe shit yeah for sure right and that's that's how it always was like when i was younger you know the kids that always wore the sd shirts and the fucking and, and like rep that shit they were smoking cloves and they always thought themselves maybe um a little more, uh, I guess, um, uh, intellectual. Sure. Yeah. Right. Right. Then, uh, just like the hardcore and the punk kids and stuff. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. And, and nowadays I, I don't think, you know, intellectual when I, when I, when I see this, I just think slick back fucking pompadours. Yes. Wife beaters, fucking old guy school owns a barbershop. Guy owns a barbershop <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. or old school tattoos and just like your entire social, your, your entire sort of like um, uh, social experience revolves around some shitty fucking bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right? The, the flames on a, a man's dragonfly bowling shirt uh, yeah. grew yeah. out of control and engulfed the uh, social distortion convention. In, yeah. Uh, <laughs> great yeah. white style uh, situation. 